Hi guys, it's Jez here for Windows Central and I'm here with a quick look at Skype preview for Xbox One. Stay tuned. The Skype preview is currently available on Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile and it's a universal Windows platform app and it's eventually going to replace all the other Skype apps probably on the Windows platforms but for now we do have this sort of <laughs> fragmented system where there's a Windows 8 app on Xbox One and there's also a desktop app on, on Windows 10 but this is the UWP app that Microsoft have been developing for the past few months and it is now available on Xbox One. It's been available on the ready to install list for quite a while now but it's finally accessible, uh, became accessible this evening randomly and this is our first look at it. So it does seem to have been altered for Xbox One, it's not just a straight port of its UWP app, it doesn't have this joystick bound cursor and it is giving you a little tutorial so you can get started. So let's give this a go. Um, it does seem a little bit dodgy to start with. I'm going to have to blur this part out so no one can see my contact list phone numbers. Let's send Daniel Rubino a message. Press the start button to start a conversation. So let's try that. And there we go does seem a little bit buggy and sticky still, but we can type to Dan messages like so. Hi Dan. <laughs> so as you can see, it does seem to work pretty well. It is bound to, you can also, can you send files? Ah, now this is where it's starting to get interesting. It does seem to work with the UWP file picker, which recently appeared on Xbox One Alpha builds in the Insider program. So it does appear, it does appear like uh, Xbox One is getting even more, even more PC-like features as time goes by. Now this is really quite interesting. So the Xbox One now has a full-blown file explorer baked in it and I'm just gonna see if I can actually send down a photo from the photos app <laughs> poor dad is just gonna get barraged with random messages and there it is a picture of barbecue sauce on xbox one so um also we can press the menu key to get the sidebar here I'm gonna have to blur it down skype no more everyone's gonna send in pesky messages and it does feel a little bit strange using it with a controller, but at least it does sort of seem to work. Now, the weird thing... Ah, see, see, just sort of jumping all over the place when I'm using the cursor. So, we can get to recent conversations. Now, this is interesting. The view, the view here is a little bit different compared to the Skype version of it. Compared to the Windows 10 version of the app, this view is a little bit different. It lets us see recent conversations in this tile view, which is very, very different to how it works on Windows 10. You just get this sort of list. So this is UWP in action here, which is pretty damn cool. Now, if I want to try, can I, I can access the dial pad so I can make phone calls by the looks of things. I don't want to try this right now because I don't know if anyone's available to call. But yeah, both the contact list and the recent conversations list have been altered for Xbox One, which is pretty, pretty cool indeed. Interestingly enough, you can also access Skype bots on Xbox One, which is part of Microsoft's big push into the artificial intelligence arena. We'll just have to wait and see how that plays out, however. Now, overall, it does seem a little bit buggy. It is a little bit weird navigating it on a controller. I think these parts of the app could be improved in some ways. The uh, the video messaging function doesn't work yet, but I don't know if that's just because I don't have a camera plugged in. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty good. You know, emoticons work. Let's send down a nice little emoticon here. There you go, Dan. Here's an emoticon. Oh, well, this this part's pretty buggy. 
Okay, you have to double double click with the A button to send an emote. <laughs> okay, that's that's interesting. It does seem to be a work in progress, but it is pretty good. Pretty good. It, it shows the power of UWP. Um, clearly, there's work to be done here, but I think this is a good start. And yeah, this was a quick look at Skype preview for Xbox One. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've been Jess Corner for Windows Central. I'll see you next time.